hello everyone welcome and welcome back to another video tutorial so um today we'll be talking about the virtual segment delete tool in coral draw um i'll be showing you how to use it and everything you need to know about it in coral draw. um i'll be showing you a detailed guide and very um live examples on how to use it so um it's very simple to use and um very very easy to use as well so guys um without any further ado let's jump right in all right so um the virtual segment delete tool is part of the um, crop tool um, tools. So um, it's located at um, the toolbar section under the crop tool. So you select, um, go to the toolbar section, then you long press on the crop tool. Then you see the virtual segment delete tool. So I think um, if you're using um, versions lesser than, um, I think version 8, um, Core X7 and Core X8, I think um, the icon will be different so um so this is it if you're using um higher versions so you select this the virtual segment delete tool so what it does basically um it removes overlapping segments or areas so um, what i mean by overlapping is that um this line is overlapping this circle here so um once you have something like this and you want to create a shape out of it then um the virtual segment delete tool is um the right tool for that so um, we have this now so let's create something out of this so i'll be giving examples with this so these are the some of the icons i've created so you deal with these areas that you don't want you delete un unwanted areas like this so you just drag over drag this drag this then you drag this you drag this so you need to be careful so i don't delete um the important areas even if you do for instance then you control z to do that so uh, you have to make sure um the objects are overlapping themselves so um basically this is it this is what we have at the end of the day so you can increase the outline to whatever choice all right so um and if you notice this broken um edges here so to fix that up you can um highlight everything then you come to your status where you have this um pen tool icon then you double click then you have this area where you have um round cap so depending on your choice so you play around what you have here and see if you, can, if you see um this has been closed up so once you're done you click on ok make sure you select behind view scale with object and um, over print outline so once you're done you click ok all right so let's undo that control z all right so um here's another example again so just select the virtual segment delete tool then you do all the areas you don't want delete this highlight this then you delete delete remove this then you remove this so this is what we have at the end of the the wi-fi icon so i also have a video on the description below on how to create this so here's another example so i'll be doing as many examples as possible so that you can get an idea of how it's been done so this is useful when doing logos so um you can get ideas all right so um you delete areas you don't want then to create um whatever you um desire so you zoom then you just delete the areas you don't want delete this delete this so um this is it basically so um you can just copy this if you want to have grid lines ctrl c then i uh, select the virtual uh, segment delete to rather then uh, you do it with areas you don't want delete then um delete this area delete this then you delete this then um highlight everything increase the outline let's say 16 then um follow this process i showed you to um cover this broken um, edges double click on this area then um you select the uh, round cap so this is it this is what we have here select this behind fuel scale with object over print outline okay then you can change the outline color right click on any color feature let's go with this then remember we we'll copied the um those lines right and control v then this is what we have at the end of the day so you can also play around with this so um this might look complex but um it's quite easy so we just use the virtual segment delete tool then you move areas where you don't want so it, it um it's an interesting process so you just um 
take your time so um i bet you already know what this icon is so i also have a video a detailed video um in the description below on how to create all of this i am showing here so this is it this is what we'll have here at the end of the day so depending on what you want so this is the settings icon so to select the two hit on the space bar so you can highlight this and increase the outline so follow the same process i showed you then um you have this cover the edges select your own cap and okay so this will have at the end of the day all right um these are the icons i tried these are the icons i created rather these are the icons i created um my brand icons so um i created using this format and also you might be wondering um how do i fill in this areas if i want it rather than the outline so this is where the smart fill comes in so what it does is that um, it fills empty um, areas and it creates a new object so i have a video in the description below a detailed video rather than the description below on um, how to use um the smart fill in coral draw it contains um everything you need to know so you can check it out but for the sake of this video story, i'll just go over it a brief um introduction to it so we just select the smart view so it's located at this area if you can't find it i have a video in the description below on how to locate the smart view so it's just click on this area you have to make sure there's no open space here if there's if there's an open space it won't work rather to fill the entire um canvas so this is all we'll have just drag it and you still have this so in case um same thing here if you don't want the outline, just follow the same process. Do this, then hold shift select, and you drag this to this area. So the same thing applies to this. And you can also increase the outline. So basically, you know the process I showed you on how to cover this up. So um you follow the same exact process. Alright, so um okay. I like this. All right, so it's a layer round cap. So let's do that again. All right, so I want you to say it's so a round cap. See it here. So okay. All right, so um, that is where the virtual segment. Uh, that's where the smart view comes in, rather. So guys, um, yeah, that is it basically on the, um on how to use um the virtual segment delete tool in CorelDRAW and every other thing you need to know. Um, it's very simple and very very easy to use just like I showed you here. Alright guys, um, if you found this video helpful, do well to hit on that subscribe button. Turn on the post notification bell to get notified whenever I upload new videos. And don't forget to like, share and drop a comment and let me know what you think about this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video tutorial.